So let's now move on to a more complicated file and a biologically more relevant file. This is a FASTQ file. Right? So this is a standard format that is followed for uh, uh, DNA and RNA sequence data that is coming from second generation and third generation sequencers. So here, if you see, this is a typical FASTQ file and it is called a FASTQ file because it also carries the quality score for a given sequence within the file. If you look closely into the file, you'll see there is a pattern to the file. You have one sequence record represented by four lines, as is indicated in this white highlighted portion. And within these four lines, you have the first line, which will start with an aggregate sign, and then it has a unique identifier. Uh, this is the identifier line. Then the second line actually represents the sequence line or the nucleotide sequence obtained from the uh, DNA fragment that you are reading. The third line in this case is only having a plus sign and nothing else. In some cases, it will also have the identifier again pasted here. The fourth line is an encrypted quality score line. These are ASCII characters and they represent uh, the, uh, the quality of the base call in each of the nucleotides that is called on the second line. So if you see, there is a correspondence between the number of uh, letters that you have in the sequence file and in the quality score file. So the length of the sequence is exactly the same as the number of characters representing the quality score line. And these are encrypted scores uh, coming from the PRET software and represented as ASCII characters. So this is typically what is a FASTQ file. Now, before the advent of uh, the next generation sequences, the major sequence format in which the DNA or protein sequence was represented was what is known as the FASTA format or FASTA format. So the FASTA format is simple. The first line on top begins with the greater than sign. That is a major indication that the sequence is in FASTA format. And then it is followed by uh, some definition of the sequence. It may contain a unique identifier and accession number also a brief description of what the sequence is. So this is your identifier line here or the def line begins with the greater than sign followed by some uh, description of the sequence. And then from the second line onwards, you have the sequence itself, right? And then of course, uh, you can see this is a multi FASTA file because there are multiple sequences in FASTA format here. So let's now move to ORC and see how you can parse a FASTQ file and uh, derive some information from it and also convert a FASTQ file to a FASTA format, right? And if you want to understand uh, the next generation sequencing techniques in more details, you can refer to my talk again on my channel. Uh, this is entitled Next Generation Sequencing Techniques and Applications. Uh, this is a webinar that I'd given at Hindu College in 2020. And also, if I may request you, I want to expand uh, quicker and faster. So if you could just share my channel in your friend circles on WhatsApp and, and on your social media, it will be very helpful. Thank you very much.